My name is Darren. My goal here is to provide some industry news on Bitcoin custody, kind of on a weekly basis, just from what we can learn from the latest news. So news today is mempool.space came out with a way to accelerate your on-chain transactions with Lightning. Now they always had an accelerator program in which you could actually load up your mempool.space account with a credit card and pay for them. What you're essentially doing here is paying miners out of band. So if your transaction is stuck, let's say you paid one sat per byte and today it's 10 sats per byte and your transactions will be infinitely stuck there until fees go down to your current rate you paid. So you have to figure out a way to accelerate this transaction. What you would be doing in mempool's case is sending funds directly to mine, mining pools in which they are partnered with. So you'd send them the credit card funds, They would you would ask them to accelerate your transaction to let's say 10 sats per byte for it to be included and confirm in the network. In the next block, let's say that Ampool um, brains via BTC would mine. Now I'm not sure who they're connected with. This is probably proprietary information. Today you're able to pay with sats or on the Lightning Network. So this will be instant transactions. Now to do so on Mem, Pool, say you found your transaction here, um, you can click accelerate. This button will bring you up the mempool accelerator. You can customize the acceleration and you can press accelerate here. It will load an invoice for you to pay directly with Lightning pretty easily, pumping it to that next block there for it to be mined by whatever mining pool they've paid. Now they kind of act as a middleman. The other way to pay a mining pool is actually paid directly. Via BTC is one option. You can enter your transaction ID and they actually do free transaction accelerations or you can pay for it. Time will tell if paying for miners out of band is good for the decentralization of the network. It seems like they're gonna be partnering with a lot of exchanges who may find it better to pay this way to accelerate transactions into the next block. So not really sure if this is going to be good for Bitcoin long term, but hopefully. Now ways to accelerate your transactions without the help of a mining pool. Now that would be number one is child pays for parent. Essentially what you're doing is creating a new transaction on the on top of that transaction you already done to increase the fee. Now this has some technical limitations. You need to know what you're doing here and um, you also have to do a calculation to ensure the fees you're currently paying are going to uh, pay for that parent, tr pay for that transaction in which you've already sent. Another way is replace by fee. Again, technical limitations here. Essentially, what you're doing is replacing a transaction with a new one. Um, it's not all supported on all wallet coordinators, all software you're using. Those are the three main ways you can accelerate a transaction. If you want to host your own mempool.space, recommend a great place to do so is start nine. You can run your own Bitcoin node and host even your own mempool instance on your start nine. Yeah, great tool. If you don't really trust the true fees or paying mempool uh, out of band. If you like this video, let me know. I'll make more news topics, education like this on a weekly basis. Uh, you can visit my website, bitcoinstartingpoint.com. I got all my tutorials, reviews, um, or just hit up my YouTube channel for all of my other uh, videos on Bitcoin. And yeah, thanks for watching.